642 is the time and we continue our zip trip to Calpens. 7 News' Christine Scarpelli is joining us live, highlighting some of the town's mouth-watering options. Got Java, Christine? <laughs> Standing, girl, absolutely we do in the longest hours I've ever heard of an ice cream location. So really, really <laughs> impressive. These ladies so happy, family friendly for sure. If you'd like ice cream or coffee in Cowpens, this is the place to go. Like you guys said, Jenny and Joyce here, the people have been talking about you nonstop. You've been open for how long now? Since the first of June. That's um, and that people have been talking about you. You've been all over. I didn't know that. Okay, that's really outstanding. Yeah. And you are open for really long hours. What are you? Yeah, we're open from seven to nine right now, and we'll be open until nine p.m. all weekend, including on Sunday. Okay, so that's a big weekend. Very yeah. good. Speaking of, do you mind if we highlight the brownie right in front of us? Yeah. Because there's a brownie Sunday you're not going to want to miss if you're coming to the festival. Yeah, absolutely. We partnered with Abbott's Bakery, who's a local bakery with us, and we'll be offering a brownie Sunday called the Mighty Moo Brownie Sunday, okay. which will have a slice of the Abbott's Bakery homemade brownie oh. with a scoop of the Hershey's vanilla ice cream, hot fudge, whipped cream, peanuts, and a cherry. <gasps> that sounds <laughs> like a huge Sunday. Speaking yeah. of, you got to tell me about these banana splits. Yeah, banana splits have been wildly popular with the community. Yes. Just the classic chocolate yes. vanilla strawberry, but you can customize it however you want with any of the flavors that we have. And how do you make it? Uh, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, pineapple, strawberry, and hot fudge whipped cream, peanuts, and cherry. Huge. And a banana, of and course. And some people get <laughs> yeah. one for themselves, you said. Yes. Yes. For dinner, Joyce? Yes, yeah. I had a customer come in and have it for dinner. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. This Wait, weekend is please. a good time to do it. Mighty Moo Festival is today and tomorrow. Do you expect a big crowd? Yes, we do. The parade is going to be starting right outside um, the beginning of our, or the, right in front of our establishment. So we're expecting, yeah, we're expecting to have some people come through in the morning and be pretty steady all day, hopefully. For sure, yeah. hopefully. <laughs> Coffee as well, guys. Yeah. Very yes. good to learn more. More information where? Facebook? Yeah, and um, on our coffee bags as well, where um, the farmers are featured on here, you can actually learn all about the, the roasters and the farmers directly where the beans come from. It's farmers first, so there, we cut out the middle man there. Many of them are yeah. local guys, and one thing you're not going to want to miss, these brand new coffee cups. Malachi, <laughs> isn't this awesome? Don't you want one? Thanks, guys. Yeah, they're really Check cute. this out, Malachi. I like that a lot, Christine. I'm, I'm becoming a big fan of everything cow fans right now. And again, we're going to be talking weather in just a second. And if you think we're excited about what's going on here in cow pens, how about this? I have the cheerleaders with me uh, and the cheer squad. We're going to talk with them, give you a little bit about your weather coming out in just a few minutes when Zip Trip from Cow Pens continues.